G'day from the University of Sydney, Australia. I'm Toby, known around here as 99 of 9. Today I'm demonstrating my Chrome browser extension called Entity Explosion. I've been editing across various projects since 2004. I like to think of the wiki community like a coral community. We're best when we're working together and relying on one another's work. Uh, today's aim is to get you all to install and benefit from Entity Explosion so that you can navigate the web using Wikidata. What does it do? While reading a website, it lets you discover links and information about the same topic on other sites with a single click. Roughly 90% of properties in Wikidata are identifiers. They do very little inside the database, but their value is to connect to external sites and connect them to one another. In this way, we're the backbone, the central hub of the internet, and EE is the way to navigate this. So let's start with a page you might be visiting about the platypus. While you're browsing around, the EE icon will light up red. This means it's likely the URL can be matched with an item in Wikidata. When you click it, it sends the URL to the WDQS to find out whether there's a Wikidata item with this exact value. If so, it returns a stack of information about the platypus. Let's try another example. Here's the Spotify page for an Australian musician, Jimmy Barnes, and the icon has lit up again. This time I've set my browser language as Swedish, so notice that the interface and all the information has been translated. And although there's no Swedish Wikipedia article yet, we get lots of information in Swedish, and the link names are often translated as well. It works on people, places, organisations and organisms, has no limits on what it describes, so EE also has potential to work on whatever you're interested in. Here are some specific sites you might use. For example, you might want to find out who someone prominent on Twitter really is. For my last couple of minutes, I'm going to do a speed run navigating the web. I thought I'd start at the Wikipedia page for Katowice, uh, and since I'm a chemist, try to get to something chemistry related. Ready, set, go. Okay, so here we are on Katowice, and uh, let's go for something chemistry related. There's lots of information about this lovely city. Let's see, we could go to the open street map or anything interesting there. But uh, I'm going to choose the iNaturalist place ID to see what your biology looks like. Here's some nice biota. I don't know the field flare, so I'm going to go see what that's about. Here's the taxon page, field fair. Interesting, lots of pretty observations. Uh, I know that GBIF has good taxonomy usually, so I'll go there and see what we can find about this. It was published in 1758 uh, by Linnaeus, actually, right. So, so there's um, the original publication. I could uh, click through to that and uh, find out Read the publication, see it on BHL, great organisation, see something about that. But uh, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go um, right into Carl himself, Carl Linnaeus, and uh, see what we know about him. So here you go, Carl Linnaeus, described by plenty of sources, lots of students. Let's have a look down here. And um, I'm interested in whether he collected... Here we go, Bionomia ID means he collected uh, with people. And uh, so let's see what his network looks like. Not many people de declared with him, but here's a name that I'm really interested in, Olaf Celsius. So uh, that's, that's triggering me a bit, suggesting some chemistry. So I, I'm going to go into Celsius and see who he is. He's a real polymath. He was a theologian and university teacher, as well as being a collector. So let's find out more about him. And in particular, I want his surname, I think, because I, this Celsius is really interesting. So I'm going to go to his wiki tree person ID, his family tree. Uh, look, we've got, yes, we've got something interesting here. He, he's the brother of Nil Celsius, who is the father of Andreas Celsius, who I understand was the inventor of the Celsius temperature scale. So ding, 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 we've made it through our speed run and used Entity Explosion to navigate the web.